Hello Internet! This is another video of my first-person RC controlled model rocket. It's a rocket, RC controlled asset, with a flight controller in it to stabilize it. And I have cameras in it, one in the nose, one looking to the side to be able to fly it FPV. So the idea is that I have my FPV goggles on and after the start I fly the rocket back to the home position and just above the ground I pull the parachutes so it lands safely. Here you can see all the electronics, uh, cameras and video transmitter, flight controller and so forth. So here's the start. I have also footage from my DJI drone. It's nice and straight. Um, so here you can see the actual footage as I see it in my FPV goggles. It's half speed because it goes quite fast. Um, you can see in, in, on the roll it's not stable. It starts to roll by itself. It's probably because the rocket is out of trim and also because the integrator part of the PID controller is not set right need to improve there. So now at Apogee it's very important to locate the home position. The arrow in the middle is pointing in the home position but as the rocket nose is down it doesn't work properly. So here I find out I'm not flying in the right direction. Tried to correct but couldn't make it back to the field. Uh, but I landed safely by parachute. So here you can see the flights based on the GPS coordinates. I made this in uh, Google Earth. So here you can see some other drone footage and also how the rocket landed and also uh, the cows that got scared at first but then they got very curious and so they ran to the rocket Luckily they didn't step on it, would have been a pity. So it was a quite nice flight. I did have some less good flights this year. Um, here I have some footage of um, a start where the motor blew up. Luckily the, the rocket was, uh, was safe, but the motor was destroyed. You can see here the, the top of the motor blew off uh, and I had to rebuilt the, the motor. I did some tests with a new build motor. This also blew up, probably due, due to inconsistencies of the fuel and the mixing. So I need to work on that. Um, I have made another motor and I made the uh, casing of titanium this time, not aluminum. aluminum. Titanium is much more heat resistant and also much stronger. So, and I also knew, used new components to make my super rocket fuel. Hopefully, it helps. What I'm showing here is Open Rocket. It's a freeware simulation program to simulate the aerodynamics of uh, of the model rocket. I've modeled the rocket in here as I fly it um, with the fins and the body uh, all on scale. I've also put in the weights of all parts of the rocket, so what, is, what you see here is a realistic uh, center of gravity of the whole rocket. What you can see here, the red dot, is the center of pressure of the rocket, and that's um, the, the center of the aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamics of the rocket. So what you want to have normally is um, center of gravity well before the center of pressure to have a stable flying rocket. So that, that's good here, but this is all with a, with a full motor, so the casing with the fuel in it. So what happens when you launch it, the fuel rapidly burns and the motor get much, gets much, li much lighter. In, in this case, it's around 125 grams of fuel. So what happens then is that the center of gravity is moving forward and you end up with a really nose heavy rocket and being nose heavy it's not good for the aerodynamics because it's very hard to 
uh, yeah, to really fly it back. Um, there's a, a big chance that you stall the fins and then it becomes uncontrollable. So what I'm going to do next in my next design is to enlarge the front fins as I show here. So what happens then is that the center of pressure moves forward um, and comes really close to the center of gravity, which is potentially uh, instable or at least not, not stable anymore. So if, I go, if I'm going to do this, I really rely on the electronical stabilization of the rocket. So the um, flight controller and the sensors, they uh, have to work much harder to get the, the rocket to be stable. And this is just only the first second of the flight because then after one second, most of the fuel is burned and then you have a stable situation uh, again. Um, but what it does is that uh, probably the, the flying characteristics after launch are much better. So I have more opportunity to fly the rocket back to the home position. Uh, and uh, probably also I'm able to, um, to cover more distance. So the flights will get more interesting. So that's what I'm going to try. Um, I'll keep you posted. Thanks.